So this is prototype tracker demonstration. Here I've got the prototype running at around just under 60 frames per second. It's around 58 frames per second. This is because uh, I've had to uh, limit the frame rate because the tracker that I've implemented uses too much CPU cycles. That's just that's because it's it's written in, first of all it's written in processing, which is Java based and that's CPU heavy. Second of all. Uh, I'm not really a programmer. Um, I'm not really a software developer, mainly an electrical engineer. Uh, as you can see, we've got I've got multi-touch. Uh, it's multi-touch capable. Um, I still haven't interpolated the data set that's coming in from the sensor, so it's still low resolution at the moment. I'm going to be interpolating the data within the next few weeks to give you a better look at. Uh, how uh, to give you a better look at the multi-touch side of things. Here's the tracker on my PC, so you guys can see actually see how there is multiple inputs occurring. Right now, I'm using LED light plane setup, so as such, there is a bit of hovering effect going on. As you can see, there is a large shadow that occurs whenever my finger is on the board. A bit about the setup. This is using a 17 inch BenQ FP71G uh, monitor. I've got my sensor board hooked up uh, back here. And it's essentially, I've had to remove the backlight, uh, remove per, part of the reflective um, background from the backlight. The backlight ch has been changed from and the halogen bulbs that are inside to an LED backlight and yeah this is it it's, I'm probably going to be implementing a new tracker within C++ or something more robust so it gives me a better frame rate